Welcome to Community Debate. I am your host Halima Sadia. Today we are going to talk about the pageantry and today I have a very very brilliant pageant with me. Her name is Kaneka Grover. She is Miss Canada first runner up 2023 and Miss Canada ambassador 2023. Today we are going to talk to her about her uh, pageantry and let us see what she has to share with us in her journey towards this profession. Welcome to our studio Kanika. Thank you Halima. It is always a pleasure to be here and to see a lot of viewers watching us and knowing what is happening in the community for the latest. So, let us talk about your pageantry. So, we will start from your Vancouver trip. So, what what we are going to anticipate for your journey which you can share with us. So, my journey for the pageantry started in 2023, the real one. My first pageant I did was in Dubai, the second I did here in Canada and the third I did back on the cruise in Mexico, from LA to Mexico. Uh, going forward, I will be heading to Vancouver shortly. I will be crowning uh, Miss Canada 24 ambassador and uh, also there we will be getting our alumni crowns for completing one year in the pageantry in their system. So, once we talk about the pageantry, we talk about the pros and cons of all that. Yes. So, how would you like to share that? So, first of all, every pageant brings with it its pros and cons. I have done three uh, big pageants in my life and I think I am in a state right now where I can uh, share with my viewers the insights of it. See, once you get into pageantry, first of all, you have to be very, very uh, careful and you have to be known that of course you have to have a lot of uh, money in your pocket. It is not only the registration fee, doing a multiple pageants requires your registration fee, then comes your travel expenses, comes your dresses, your grooming sessions and everything. So, there are some people out there think that you know okay just the uh, registration fee and that is done. No, it brings a lot of things with it. Secondary I would like to talk about once you are on the pageant there, uh, your confidence is what matters. You're, you should give your 100%, you're giving your 100% and you're up there talking to people, doing your interviews, doing your pageant, your finale walk. Now what happens is after, once you win, of course you're going to, you're going to celebrate. You're not seeing what points you got and how did you win. It's only about you won, you won and that's it. Now today I'm here to talk about of, uh, those things that happens when you don't win. So first and foremost, it is a little advice to the organizations that they must have the counselors on board because people who do not win their morale, their confidence, everything goes down so badly that they start to question themselves what we are for, whether we did the right thing. They do not know how to face other colleagues. They do not know how to face their families, those people who have been expecting a lot of things from them because there are people in society who are going to judge you and are also not going to judge you. So how to face those things after not winning, taking it gracefully, it is very, very important to have mental health counselors on board for any pageant. Now another con of not winning in the pageantry is let us say you are uh, on a cruise or let us say you are in uh, some other country. So once the pageant is over, it is advised and requested for people to let go to see their families because their family is going to be the best support to them. And once the families are not there, it is very, very hard for them to make that kind of a bond and relation with people out there who would guide them and support them in the same manner. So a good thing is that let them go keeping people trapped with the organization for next one, two, three days, it brings your mental health really, really down because there is no one best support than your family who would understand because they have seen your journey from where you came, how you came and where you are going. So now since you have talked about the mental health and all that, it is a very competitive uh, profession. Uh, whether it is male or it is female. So what do you think the gender role and the difficulties regarding that in this profession along with mental health? So um, it is very important first of all to keep yourself very strong in the industry that you are in 
be it you are doing modeling be it you are doing pageantry be it you are doing any kind of uh, uh, ramp walks and catwalks now you have to be very very careful of people around you a lot of politics we see nowadays in any industry i'm not saying just the pageantry there are some good pageants as well so if you've done your homework really well to know which organization and which system suits you best there you can go and you can proceed now the challenges that people face we say females are doing much better they're coming up to but in the end it's again a male dominating society somewhere or the other we no matter how much hard we are trying to come up and make that level but somewhere if i'm in city of brampton and at two o'clock i'm at night going with my friend in my short dress i'm not feeling safe i know i can have eve teasing here now that could go and be a question on me as miss canada ambassador so people can misuse your the way you look the way you are the way you are carrying yourself for anything so it is very very important to be cautious of your surroundings of your society and how you are bringing things up i would say taking uh, care of yourself mentally is more important because these things the eve teasing the people you know people come they, they comment on you they do so many things it's important how you keep your mental stability uh, because it's a very difficult society to face these kind of challenges and one thing someone says we're going to be like oh my god no it's not happening it's not for me but that is the time keep your courage have your family support go straight and see you are doing the best the best do not let your mental strength go down one pageant second pageant third pageant it is not the end of the world there are a lot of things to do and if you're not winning or losing always believe that god has a better plan for you and future. winning and losing is another thing i would say that it's a journey which is the most important thing yes and then pageantry is the beginning towards so many other professions also correct like this is just the learning process this is the first step correct towards the higher of the things you know correct um you can open a lot of doors you can do a lot of things it's the way you said is very right that you should be able to compose yourself after losing you not only learn to win but also learn to, to lose yes. how to lose and be good with that Correct. so let's come to the vision like what can pageant uh put uh, as a pageant in the society what role can they play which will be you think the enhancement which will be very good for the enhancement a betterment of the society so pageantry is mostly female oriented we have directors national directors we have contestants we have the team which is mostly female oriented so this is one good platform where you can advocate your vision my vision is supporting online bullying online hate and i use the hashtag i will not be deleted so any any uh, people coming from the age of let's say 5 to 6 year old to the 60 75 years old i my vision is to speak about online hate suppose you put, put a picture or somebody is using your photograph or anything so this is a platform where which supports my vision so pageantry how it helps the community basically it brings the best women from the society who are vocal who like to speak their vision in a very subtle and a beautiful manner and convey the message to the society of their own vision it could be anything it could be mental health it could be online hating it could be cyber bullying it could be anything people so have different visions so this is basically visions. basically this is leadership yes a uh, kind of training to be the leader Correct. to lead certain uh issues correct. of the society correct. and uh, being part of it to resolve it correct like you have a crown on you you have a sash on you now people know you so use your crown sash your fame to be a voice to the society to help people around that's a very beautiful positive thinking if you think that's how you can compile yourself even if you lose correct. because even if you lose that pageant which is important but not that important there are bigger causes to Correct. go to for support. to go for money can buy anything everything anywhere so <laughs> comments please <laughs> yes money can buy anything everything everywhere in pageantry maybe maybe not i have done different pageants and uh, i have witnessed things but uh, do not do not have any proofs to give my viewers but yeah be cautious be careful and it's your own hard money make sure wherever you're putting in whatever you're putting in for it brings you the results but yes maybe maybe not in the patterns <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's talk about something which is more uh, towards uh, the the dark side of the things it is considered one of the very harsh 
professions and very difficult ones to go for. Uh, of course, everything has bright side, everything has dark side. So, your comments towards that? Uh, dark side of pageantry could uh, bring down your confidence. It could bring your morale down. It could bring a question on you that whether you're doing a right thing or not. It could uh, take away the confidence of the pageant world from you that pageantry is not uh, true. They're not honest. I'm not saying all the pageants are biased. Some are very good pageants like I have done a couple of good pageants as well. So it is very, very, very important again before signing any code of conduct or before signing into any pageantry, make sure you are doing your homework of seeing which pageant and which system is good because the dark side could bring you down really bad. And for a few, for example, you are in a resort or something and you're not winning a title and it has brought you down emotionally so bad that at that time, even if you don't have your family support, you don't know what to do. You don't know what steps to take. So in that hasty decision, in that hasty environment, let's say if someone could commit suicide. So, who is going to be responsible? So, having a counsellor on board and to take care of those people that time, I am sure nobody will, no, nobody will go and hang themselves if they did not win a title. But we cannot, we do not have any clarity about any person who is going through what mental state is that So, time. this is the suggestion for the panels and the committees who organize that, that they should have something counselors. immediate. It's just like uh, we as we always call that immediate help, uh, the life saving. Uh, yeah. This is one of the life saving things that for yes. emotional help, because as a society we do not consider emotional sickness as a sickness because we can't see emotion. Exactly. But that is the most destructive part yes. of us. Yes. And especially in uh, showbiz uh, type of things, pageantry is one of them, which is the part of it is very very predominantly yes. depressing yes. Uh, thing also yes. because it's highly competitive and of course you need some time to get back to yes. yourself. So any message those who are on the road towards pageantry what would you like to share and comment and give suggestions to? My message to the viewers who are doing pageants and uh, who are coming as contestants first message to the platforms to the organizations please please have uh, mental health counselors on board it is very very important for people who don't win because we in the end human life is what matters the most nothing else the pageantry is going to come and go you're going to win and lose but please Please save human lives. That is more important. Like b save them because you have visions. Everyone has a vision. So mental health is one vision everyone talks about. And Canada being uh, one of the depressing countries, we don't want people coming from a bad experience from a pageant and getting into depression. We don't want that. We want to uplift women and bring women empowerment. Second thing, second advice for the viewers who are getting into pageantry as contestants. Please have your work done really well to the organization you're getting into and winning and losing is secondary. This particular pageant, if you don't win, is not the end of the world. There are many good societies, many good organizations, many good associations where you can link up to them and have your voice out. In the end, what matters is that you have to live a life that matters for others, not for yourself. So living a life that matters for others is to hook up with any good organization that is going to help you bring your voice for the better community. Kanika, I really thank you for sharing your views and your opinion and your suggestions to our viewers. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you very much. Viewers, every path we take, every road we take leads us towards certain areas which has good side, bright side and dark side, bad sides. This is totally up to us that how we want to make ourselves meaningful. Pageantry is a difficult area but yet it has a very strong voice. It gives you a face to have a voice to make a change in the society the way you want to see it. With these words, thank you very much for watching Community Debate with me today.